To start, let's make sure our track is record armed and load an instrument onto it. Head over to your library and choose an instrument. You can do this by double clicking it or dragging and dropping it onto your chosen channel. Bass lines are generally in lower octaves. Use the plus and minus octave buttons to change the position of your keyboard. I'll be changing it to minus one. Your screen will tell you the range your keyboard is in. Now I'm going to play my loop and jam until I find something I like. Remember, don't worry about hitting wrong notes because scale mode will keep you in key. Let's record. Make sure only your chosen track is record armed. Press record on your launch key, listen out for the eight clicks, then start playing your chords. To finish recording, press stop on your launch key. Because I didn't hit the stop button soon enough, my bass pattern won't loop when I press play. Have a listen. To fix this, open the clip you've just recorded and drag the loop brace back to the end of your bass. This will now loop your pattern. I'm going to make some changes to the notes I've just recorded. I want to make sure those gaps approaching the next note are closed for feel. To do this, just hover over a note and extend it to where you see fit. You can do this to as many notes as you want. Let's have a listen. My bass line should sound a lot more complete now. 